Hi, welcome to Ellipsis. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, my name is Caleb, or Cal. Uh, I'm a journalist, and I've decided to create this series as a bit of entertainment, really, and something to keep me busy. So, um, a bit of background about me. I worked creating uh, sort of wacky, off-the-wall news stories for online content before the lockdown happened. And we weren't doing very well. So when we went into lockdown, my boss kind of called it a day and said, look, we haven't got enough money to keep this going. So I'm officially unemployed. Yay. Um, <laughs> it's a bit scary um, not having a job to go back to and, you know, a bit worrying. So I decided to start creating my own content, um, doing a similar thing, making interesting, wacky, off the wall stories, um, if I could find them from lockdown. I don't usually come in front of the camera. I'm usually the person putting things together behind the scenes, so bear with me with that. Um, I also don't have any equipment. It was all the company's equipment, so I've just got a tablet, uh, a phone, a computer. That's it. So if the quality's not very good, I apologize. Anyway, I was looking for my first story. Um, I was meant to be doing that today, in fact, but yesterday I was handed a story on a plate by my own mum. Um, my mum, Judy Daniels, is a primary school teacher. She teaches year five. She is still currently teaching key workers kids, but she um, creates a video every week for the kids at home, uh, as well as their set work. She makes one video a week with a special task for them to complete at home. And this week, uh, she decided that she wanted them to make a time capsule. And the idea came from her doing some gardening last week. She was digging around uh, in a flower patch at the end of the garden. And she remembered that her and my dad had uh, buried a time capsule the, the week I was born, 30 years ago. So she remembered it, she had a little dig and she found it. So um, she's asked me well, she asked me yesterday to open it up um, for the kids and go through everything because everything in that box was the same age as me. So, uh, makes sense. So I did. And some interesting things came out of the time capsule. So I'll uh, show you now what happened yesterday. Hello there. Good afternoon, Year 5. Hello, class. Mrs. Daniels here. Uh, I hope you're all keeping safe. Uh, I hope you're all fine and well. Um, I do miss you all very much, I have to say. Uh, and I just want to say thank you for taking part in my weekly special tasks. Now, this week, I think I've got an extra special task, and that is to create your very own time capsule. I know, brilliant, eh? Uh, so for this task, you will need... The reason why I came up with this idea, and this is the fun part, is because about 30 years ago, when my son was born, I created a time capsule for him. Uh, I wanted him to have a memento of what time was like when he was born. And my son, Caleb, hi Caleb, has very kindly offered to open it up for you all to see what I put in there in 1990. So, thanks again, Caleb, and over to you. Hi, Mum. Hi, Year 5. Uh, so I've been asked to open this time capsule, which my mum and dad buried uh, around when I was born. So, here we go. Let's open it up. So... First thing in here is a piggy bank with some money in it. And then there's some photos. So, photos of mum and dad. Oh, there's a picture of me and my mum and dad and my uncle Richard and um, Sure who that is. Um, don't know. But yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's it. That's what's inside the time capsule. So, hope you enjoyed it. So, 
As you can see from that video, I opened the capsule, found this photo um, of my mum and dad and me as a baby, my uncle Richard, my mum's brother, and this woman. I didn't know who she was. And just to give you some context, now my uncle is married to my auntie Barbara. They have a daughter, Kelly, who's a couple of years younger than me. Um, it's also one of my good friends. Uh, she's my cousin. So I was confused. I just thought if if this woman was in the picture with you just after I was born, that means she must have gone off the scene very quickly for you to have met Barbara and had Kelly within a couple of years. So I had questions. As a journalist, I had questions. So I, um, I'm currently back with my mum, uh, living in my mum's house for the lockdown because I didn't want to be on my own in the flat. So when she got home from... Uh, school last night I asked her who this woman was she told me that it was my uncle Richard's ex-wife Kathy I had no idea that my uncle Richard had an ex-wife uh, and I asked my mum about it I said what happened where did she go um, why have we never spoken about her and mum's response was that uncle Richard doesn't like to talk about it and I, she wanted to leave it there which obviously made me all the more intrigued. So I didn't know how to look into it without speaking to Richard directly, which I wasn't going to do because obviously he's not comfortable talking about it. Um, I couldn't speak to my mum because she wasn't comfortable talking about it. Um, my dad's not around anymore. My dad passed away 10 years ago now. So the only person who I could think of who might have any clue about what happened was my cousin Kelly my Uncle Richard's daughter. So I gave her a call. Um, that was my next next thing on the list. And here's what happened. Hi, mate. Hi. You okay? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, you know, just uh, in lockdown as everybody else is, but. I know, right, isn't this so weird? Yes, it's, uh, it's dull, but. Like, it's a bit, it's a bit weird for, for me though, because I'm still working from home. So I'm just like delighted that I don't have to put a face of makeup on every day at the moment, but I'm sure that will change over time. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well, I'm delighted, but I haven't got any work. Um, I'm sure it'll be more of a worry when we come out of lockdown and I'm jobless, but hey ho, we'll, we'll cross sure. that off and come to it. I'm like, I'm waiting for the furlough to drop. I'm just waiting for that to happen at the moment. But as it stands, I'm still being useful. So. Great, great. Um, well, I've got an ulterior motive uh, calling you. Also, I see. But also, I found something out and I just wanted to run it by you because um, I was surprised. I don't know whether you know about this. But mm. but anyway, I, I was helping mum with this school thing yesterday and uh, basically came across a photograph from when I was a baby. And it was of me and mum and dad and your dad and some other woman uh and I didn't know who it was because it wasn't your mum and I was like who is this woman with Uncle Rich I don't understand and mm, I asked mum when she got home last night from school and she said that it was your dad's ex-wife and I was like what and then she just wouldn't talk about anything else she was like yeah that's all I'm telling you I'm not telling anything else she doesn't like to talk about it and I was like what so I thought I'd ring you and see if you have any idea about this uh yeah I I do right. well I thought I sort of do like I can't I yeah I sort of do in as much as I was probably oh mate I don't know 10 11 something like that right and I can't remember what we were talking about but my mum said something about the fact that dad had been married before okay and I remember being like, what are you talking about? And uh, she didn't really give me a lot of information because she was just like, oh, your dad, your dad doesn't like to talk about it very much because the reason that they ended up getting divorced was that everything went a bit sour when she went to prison. <gasps> <laughs> no. Dun, dun, dun. I know. Do you know why she went to prison? No. And then when I, I remember, because I was quite little, so I suppose at the time, mum didn't really think that I, I don't know why she even told me that, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think she was like, I think she'd like lost her temper and she's just sort of like blurted it out. Yeah. Um, but I, 
I wasn't brave enough to ask dad about it and then and then I just sort of like I know it sounds like a weird thing to say but I haven't ever really wanted to rock the boat by sort of bringing it up with either of them like it was clearly something that made mum quite upset to talk about and I didn't want to be going to dad and being like oh tell me about your ex-wife like it just feels weird yeah um but I've always been really curious about it and like it's so weird to think that there was this other woman who like knew your mum and was like in the family oh my god right we need to look into it do you think I think 100% we need to look into it I mean I'm very inquisitive as you know um but I'm but I'm I'm looking to make I'm I'm making a, a series of things about like you know I used to make news videos yes I, I think this is the perfect first thing for my for my videos that I'm going to create for this little series I think like let's look well, like into... a little um a little like long lost family vibe yeah I want to find out who she is I want to find out what why was she arrested and but the only thing is how are we going to do that because if you can't speak to your dad about it well you... look it's not that I can't speak to my dad about it it's just that I don't want to drop mum in it and say that mum told me like right. I don't you know I don't want to cause a row but I suppose I could do a I suppose I could do a bit of like digging around and then accidentally come across it and then yes, do that do you like, think yeah 100 percent. well if there's anything because if you can maybe find I don't know like his his marriage certificate sure doesn't it say on a marriage certificate who oh yeah you have to declare any previous marriages I think yeah. Maybe if we can get her name, we can like start looking into her and seeing what. Well, that's got to be. That's all got to be up in the loft. We've got up in the attic at Mum and Dad's is all the like baby photos and all that stuff. Like it's got to be up there with all of that. Right. Okay. So go up in the loft. Okay. And we can. Surely there'll be some sort of like stuff online about if it was if it was a she went to prison then it must be a case and public and great. Do that. When can you do that? Uh. I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm not going to be able to do it today Okay. or tomorrow. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really like working from home is hard. Yeah, I'm going to say, look, just to be honest with you, I'm going to say probably Friday. Friday's great. Okay. On Friday, go up in the attic. Let me know when you're there and we will figure out who this person was. Oh, my God. Ridiculous. You so clearly have nothing to do. Okay, fine. <laughs> Excited. Okay. Amazing. Okay, then. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you on after your Friday. Okay. Okay. See you later. Bye.